Hi guys and uh, welcome back to another video from Deadhead Lures. Today we're gonna make uh, this little guy. It's gonna be a bottom uh, lure. I'll have a lot of weight here in front of the head and uh, the line tie on top with a single hook coming off the back. So it'll go a lot head down, running through the tilt. And uh, don't, for like, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. There, I just uh, touched the knob up here with the with the file, so it it has a small smooth line, as you can see. Whoops, there it is. Yeah. So it it won't be as rough and as sharp as line, but more smooth. Um, but uh, let's uh, get on and uh, make a, a better shape of this.
now it's time to fix the mess I just made. So in with some super glue, top it off with the baking soda. And of course, I uh, forgot to hit the record button for all of that. But uh, here we are. The the new eye sockets have been drilled, lead has been poured and uh, sealed. So it's pretty much uh, ready for paint. So uh, let's start with a, a black base coat, I think. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, one of my uh, airbrushes is. is uh, down at the minute, so uh, it's just going to be a black base coat with the uh, spray paint. And there you go. Now uh, we just uh, have to watch uh, paint dry, unfortunately. So I just uh, traced out the profile of the lure on uh, the back side of the foil. And uh, now uh, we see how it goes putting it on. There we go. Now uh, we have uh, some flash while the lure is, is down. When it snows down, kicking around the bottom, that's uh, what the fish will see. As I said before, uh, this uh, airbrush is sadly out of commission. Um, it, it blows air, but when you have uh, paint in here, it just doesn't come out and uh, if you screw off uh, the cap the needle moves as it should 
But the paint just splashes out and uh, with the cap on, nothing comes out. So all I have now is uh, my siphon uh, airbrush, but uh, the big nincompoop uh, that I am, I had uh, that's a small tube uh, going into the glass. And I cleaned that, but I think I might have thrown out uh, the hose uh, w along with uh, the cleaning materials. So for now, I'm having uh, to use uh, these small bottles of uh, paint that I got from uh, Wish. They've just uh, put on uh, the lid for the glass jar, held on in place with uh, masking tape. And then uh, as we use it upside down, it actually kind of works. Uh, the paint goes out as it should, and we get an okay result, in my opinion. But uh, let's see how it works. But uh, this uh, has to go on in uh, a lot of coats, as you can see. It's not holding on very well uh, when it's wet. So I'll get back to you in, in just a second. And of course, uh, the first coat of paint, uh, I forget, forgot uh, to hit the record. But uh, as you can see, the sides have now been uh, painted pink. And uh, the re reflective foil is still on the bottom. So. Uh, Let's uh, get on uh, with the new color. Uh, on top, I'm going to be using a, a dark blue instead, instead of the black. I just need a thicker coat coming out. There we go. Maybe we should do it uh, so you guys can see it as well. Yeah. Now it's uh, time to wait for that to dry and um, we might uh, crack on uh, with the scales. Now it's dry, as you can see, the top uh, looks almost black as it dries up and uh, on the side uh, the blue actually turns uh, purple. But um, it it's okay, we can work with it uh, and let's uh, get ready to put on the scales. For the scales, uh, um, I have uh, some clear coat that I had uh, mixed in some color shift powder that goes from green to blue and it looks crazy when you see it. Um, it gives a very nice effect to the lures. There you can see it. It has uh, a bit there. It has some refractive uh, for as it is now, but uh, when it gets on the, the bait, uh, you'll see the big difference. This is just some mesh uh, from garlic, um, the store-bought garlic. The great thing about it is you can, depending on how far you pull it, you can uh, choose how big the scales you want. So uh, for the scale patterns, I went ahead, painted uh, the sides black over the mesh, and uh, now we're gonna use some color shift uh, powder in clear coat to, uh, to really uh, get the scales uh, going. Let's see. So that uh, just needs to dry a bit and uh, let's check it out in a moment. 
Now it's time for the eyes and uh, just to match what we did on the bottom uh, with the, the foil. I think uh, we're going to use uh, this uh, six mil silver eyes. So first, a bit of super glue. And then we're going to put on one of the eyes. So let's see here. It just won't let go. There. That did a big difference. Now you can see the color shift really well as well. Second eye. Let's try without the knife this time. Yeah, that worked a bit better. Let's get it positioned right. There. Now we have uh, it ready just uh, for the clear cup. For the first clear coat on the eyes, I'm uh, using from uh, the a paintbrush I got uh, with the car just to dab in some some clear coats around the eye make it really set in well and as you can see it doesn't matter if you brush on a bit but um, we might as well do the whole thing now we're at it now the colors also uh, comes very much alive Let's zoom out again. Yeah, that that did wonders uh, for the the color shift. And we want a nice thick clear coat on this, just uh, to get the seam from. Uh, the reflective foil uh, where the paint meets it to just blend in and seem seem like it's one piece. Uh, the next clear coat that's going on this is uh, going to be uh, the UV clear coat. But since uh, my UV chamber isn't uh, ready yet, we have uh, we might wait for tomorrow because it's it's cloudy outside right now, and uh, this it's six o'clock, so the sun might not uh, be up again today. So that'll have to do uh, for tomorrow. And now we are almost got this one painted all the way around. This is actually gonna be tested uh, at the name it nearest uh, put and take, and see if uh, the trouts will uh, will enjoy. So it's not bad that it's dark and but it because it has uh, the flashes now uh, let's get that uh, drying and uh, we'll put on the uv clear coat tomorrow so i'll see you then actually i forgot uh, the most important thing of this entire lure as it is now it's not a uh, big use to us uh, we gotta drill uh, the slot for for the line tie but now uh, for now, we'll just let the clear coat dry and uh, we'll drill out the, the line tie slot and uh, then it's going to be UV clear coated. But uh, let it dry tomorrow 
and uh, then let's uh, drill a hole. So for the lion's eye, we're just uh, gonna use some 0.9 mil uh, stainless steel. Get it twist around and just cut off uh, to make it more even. So. And because it's 0.9, we need to give it a twist down here to, to actually fit better in, uh, in the drill. While I twist it. There we go, nice little eye. And I've just uh, cut off the the part we didn't need, and uh, now we're gonna drill the hole for the line slot using a two mil drill. Let's see how much we need, just a tad more. As you can see from the eye in, it's perfect. I just want to give a little room down the back. So when we go all the way, this uh, doesn't hit the, the lure and uh, create a circle around the top here. Now let's put this in here and let's find the center so the lower on top is as you can see here just around 14 mil so I'm guessing six and a half mil should do and that would be right around there There. Now we have our two dots. There. Let's see where we end up on this. Just gonna go straight to start with. And now we're going more diagonal. Hi guys and welcome back. As you can see it's the next day and it's sunny outside so uh, we'll get ready to clear coat with the, the UV clear coat and uh, let's get this one out uh, and dry. This is where we were at. As you can see it's shiny from the first clear coat but uh, it isn't as hard as we want to so we are using the UV clear coat. And this stuff is amazing. Um, when you use it in the dark, it, it really doesn't harden. Um, but what I do with this one, I just dab on a big pile and brush it out. Now we just 
gonna scoop this around and perhaps even put on a bit more and this one will be hard in in about an hour leaving it outside yeah. Now we just uh, need to put it, uh, hang it outside and uh, let it dry. So uh, I'll see you when uh, the bait is done. So here we have it guys, uh, the lure is all done. It dry it's been drying in the sun for about an hour and 20 minutes and uh, it's all, uh, all dried out, not sticking when you touch it. There we have it. It's all, all nice and smooth. Very glossy, you can see the color shift on top with the scales down the sides and you still uh, get that pebble sensation of it. And when it goes in the water it should be going something like, like this when, and it'll, it should wobble. So you get the flashing on the bottom. That's it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you think about uh, leaving a like, a comment and uh, perhaps even su subscribe. If you subscribe, don't for forget to ring the bell and uh, you'll get notifications on every new video we are putting out. See ya!